Hello, everyone. So I wanted to come on and talk to you about zip files. So when you're extracting your SVG files that you may purchase from Etsy or somewhere else online. So what I have on my screen is I have a copy of, or I have an image of an SVG file. So this is a scalable vector graphic. You can tell it here because it actually um, is on this very top when it says SVG. It's basically the same photo. So this is an SVG file, scalable vector graphic. I've talked about this in the group before. And so what you get is a lot of times when you're new to your cutting machine and you're not really familiar with file types, your SVGs, your JPGs, and your PNGs, you know, you may be a little, that may be a little bit foreign to you. You're not really sure how they work in Cricut Design Space, so I wanted to talk about that with you today. So this is a, a cut file, so I'm going to delete it, and I'm going to upload it again. So you can see when it comes in as a, as a cut file on the very far right hand side of your screen, it's going to show you each layer of that particular image. Okay, so this is a cut file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to click on the little lock. I'm going to click it one time. That's going to unlock it for me so that I can change my width and my height. And I'm going to change this to 6.75 by 9.25 just to get it to a size that you can see. So here we have our cut file. So with your scalable vector graphic, what's gonna happen is at this point, if you take the um, vinyl and you put it into your cutting machine, it's going to cut this image out in vinyl, okay? But it's only going to, <clears throat> it's going to actually cut out pieces, okay? So anything that's in black is going to cut on one mat. Anything in brown is going to cut on a separate mat. The yellow will cut on its own mat, so on and so forth. So if I wanted to use this as a cut file and I click on make it, you're going to see multiple mats here on the left-hand side. So this is your black mat, so on and so forth. Okay. So this is how this image is going to cut up. So if you wanted to use this as a, on a t-shirt, then you would have to layer all these pieces in order for it to work. And I don't think you wanna do that um, just to get all these different colors. So we're gonna cancel that. So this is your SVG. This is a scalable vector graphic. It is a cut file going to cut all these pieces like you just saw when I clicked on make it okay now you may get some people that will tell you all you have to do is click on weld so I'm going to click on weld and I'm going to show you what you're going to get so that's what you're going to get with weld don't think that's what you want to do because even though it's gonna give you one cut file, <laughs> look at, you got everything, and when you click on make it, it's gonna give you that one mat, and that's what it's gonna cut out. Just this right, these colors, just as you see it, okay? So when you're unsure as to what's gonna happen, go ahead and click on make it so you can get the visual, because when you click on make it, it's gonna show you what the outcome is gonna be, the output is gonna be. So again, we're gonna cancel that, And I'm gonna go here and click on undo. And it's gonna bring back my cut file, all nice and pretty. Now, you may get some people to tell you to click your image and select attach. That's what you're gonna get. Still a cut file, okay? And when you click on make it, this is what your output is gonna look like, just like that but it's still gonna be a cut file, okay? It's just gonna cut all of this out individually. Even though it's the same color, it's gonna cut it all out. All these little pieces are going to be cut out, okay? So we're gonna cancel again. 
All right. So now you may get some people to say, attach it and then flatten. Okay, so right now it's still a cut file. So I'm gonna click on flatten here in the bottom right corner. Now it's a print and cut file. Okay, so basically what's gonna happen when you click on make it, it's going to print this image. It's gonna send it to your printer. It's gonna print it out in the same color. And then when you put it into your cutting machine, it's still gonna cut out each individual piece. Okay, it's gonna cut it out. It's not going to cut around all nice and pretty. So let's click cancel. Then we're gonna undo and undo. So if you click on the image and you select flatten, looks good, right? It looks like it's going to print and cut. That's really how we say it. I don't know why they put cut first, but it looked like it's going to print and cut, send the image to your printer, then you put it in your cutting machine and it's gonna cut around it all nice and pretty, right? So I'm gonna click on make it. You're gonna get this black line around your image. That's an indication to Cricut Design Space that it wants to send, you want to send this image to your printer, Okay, so nothing will ever go to your printer if you don't have this black line. If you don't have this black line inside, um, when you get to this screen, it's not going to print out. Okay, it will only cut. It will not print. So you need this black line in order for Cricut Design Space to send this to your printer. All right, so it looks really good. It looked like, okay, I would be able to use this for a t-shirt transfer. Okay, so what's going to happen is you're going to go ahead and continue. You send it to your printer, your printer is going to print it out very pretty like you see here. And then you're going to take that image, place it on your mat, just like you see here in the portrait position. You're going to place it in your mat, tell your mat, you know, that you're using cardstock or whatever you choose to use for t-shirt transfer. And then your cutting machine is going to cut this image up. It's going to cut all around here. It's going to cut these letters out individually. It's not going to be a complete image because this is a scalable vector graphic. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to show you. So I'm going to click cancel. So over to my right, I have the output using a scalable vector graphic as a printing cut by just check by selecting the um, flatten option. And I'm going to show you what it's going to look like after I have printed it out and then put it in my cutting machine. This is the result. So you can see that it is all cut up, okay? It printed out just like it should have. Black line was going around it just like it should. But you can see it started cutting out all this on her arm, the flower that's on her arm. It cut out all of this. It started cutting out the E, and then I just stopped it. But it would have continued, and it would have cut out every single solitary thing that you see on the screen because it is a scalable vector graphic. It's a cut file, okay? So you do not want to attach or flatten because that's not going to solve the issue with a scalable vector graphic, okay? All right, so if you take, I'm gonna hide both of these. And I'm gonna go back to upload upload image and browse. And I'm gonna locate this file or try to. So let me go down a little bit here. I think it's Dope Diva. I might be able to find, find it easy that way. Okay. So here we have the Dope Diva, we have a JPG, we have a PNG, and then there's the SVG, okay? So if you want to use this image for t-shirt transfer, guys, the best thing you can do is go with this JPG. And the first thing you're going to say is it has a white background. I don't want the white background. No worries. Go ahead and select complex and continue. And when you get to this part, you're just going to, you have this little crosshair right here. You're just going to click in the white space. 
Just click one time in the white space. It's going to remove, as you can see, it's giving us this check checkerboard background. That's to indicate that there is no background, okay? So wherever I click the white space, it's going to remove that white space from the image, okay? So now I'm going to click on preview so I can see what my image will look like. And you can see that if it were a cut file, it would just cut around the image and not inside the image. So I'm going to make this smaller so you can see it. But there's your image without a background. So when you click on continue, this is your print and cut, and this is now your cut file, okay? You don't want the cut, you want the print, then cut, okay? So when I select this and click on save, now I can go ahead and select my image and insert it. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it because on a print and cut, the largest you're going to be able to print and cut is 6.75 by 9.25 okay so at this point guys you don't have to do any attach and flatten and all that this file is good to go so when you click on make it it's going to send this image to your printer and then when you take it off your printer and put it on your mat in the portrait position just like this your Cricut cutting machine or whatever cutting machine you have, it's gonna cut around. Now it will cut inside the E here, okay? Then it's gonna come around and go around just like that. It's not going to go inside and cut these letters separately, okay? So this is what you would want to use. Your JPG is what you would wanna use for a transfer, okay? Where you're gonna put it on a T-shirt, this is what you wanna use. If you're going to put it on a mug and you have printable vinyl, then it's better for you to go with, again, the JPG and just remove the background, okay? So I wanted to just jump on and show you the difference between having your JPG. This is the JPG. And all I did was remove the background. This is what I would use for my t-shirt transfer. So I'll have one complete picture. This image is my SVG, my scalable vector graphic, which is a cut file. This one you would not want to use on a transfer because it's gonna cut this image up in pieces. Even though they look the same, they are not going to work the same because of the file type, okay? And then last but not least, I have another scalable vector graphic that I, cho I chose to put it on attach to change it to a cut, a print then cut file. And you can see what the outcome is gonna look like. It's gonna cut that image up and it's gonna cut all inside that image. And you're going to have wasted your product because you used a scalable vector graphic and somebody told you to attach it or weld it, you know, to get it to print as one or to cut as one. And that's not what happened, okay? So I just wanted to take this time out to talk to you about a SVG file, scalable vector graphic. And if you're trying to do a t-shirt transfer, you want to make sure that you're using a JPG and just remove the background. It's very easy to do, just like I just showed you, um, to remove that background and then have it as a print then cut file. So even though they look the same, these two look the same, they don't work the same, okay? They do not work the same. This one is an image file that's just going to cut as you see it. This one is a cut file and it's going to cut the file up, okay, into pieces. Now, if you're using vinyl and you want to layer, then you could use the SVG. But again, I don't think you want to do that with all these intricate details um, on the arm, okay, because you would have to layer this individually. Now, if you can do that, then you are the guru of Cricut design space and layering and I'd love to see it okay all right guys that's my story and I'm sticking to it I hope this will help you to understand the difference in using a scalable vector graphics versus a JPG 
okay? And I will talk to you about a PNG file on another session. If you have any questions, comments, concerns in reference to an SVG versus a JPG and using t-shirt transfer for your t-shirts, then feel free to let me know. And as always, each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys enjoy the rest of your day.